Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Jono here bringing you the next episode. We're in my FIFA 15 career mode with Chelsea. And in today's episode, we finish off the Champions League last 16 against Zenit St. Pittsburgh, where we take a 1 0 lead into the second leg. We also have at West Ham in the FA Cup quarterfinals and Hull in the Premier League. So let's just jump straight into this first match against Hull City and uh, see you, shall we? can continue with his immense form across all competitions. Right then guys, for this first match against Dennis and Petersburg in the last 16 of the Champions League, the second leg, we obviously won the first leg um, away, so we got checking goal, Common at right back, Terry, um, Cher and Felipe Luis at the back, Matic and CDM on his own, William, Hazard and Scherler in the uh, like mid attacking midfield roles, Remy and Chichawi up front, um, paired up together. In terms of uh, Zenit, they got the key players for them. Rondon, Witzel, uh, Hulk, um, Garrow, I think that is. Um, and they're really the key players that I know of um, from that team. But to start off with, uh, Hazard comes for no, Remy even gets a decent shot away, but goes straight into the gloves of the keeper of, uh, of Zenit. 23 minutes in, Scherler. Tries to play the ball across. William, power, good, powerful, first time shot straight to the hands of the keeper again. Coleman plays it into Scherler, outside of the boot cross. Chichawi helps it on. Keeper tries to come for it, gets it wrong, and uh, Remy manages to head the ball over the top of him and into the back of the net to strengthen our lead um, our, our lead overall, um, which is now 2-0 on aggregate after us getting the 1-0 lead, 1-0 win in the first leg. Um... 35 minutes later, Hazard comes powering forward, gets a lovely, uh, gets a, a really good position, gets a nice shot away, leaves the keeper stand and just rolls the ball into the bottom right hand corner. A very nice goal. 3 0 to Chelsea, and I've got now a very lovely goal as you'll see here in the replay. And uh, a lovely, well taken goal. Just brilliant from a brilliant player. It Coming up into half time now, Zenit get their first key attack in the game. Witzel. Plays in Rondon, first time shot, the defending was poor, the goalkeeping was poor. Check for me, he should have got that, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Zenit pull one back to uh, half Chelsea's lead. And uh, hope they'll be obviously hoping to uh, capitalise on that going into the second half. And uh, it's now 2-1 in the game, 3-1 to Chelsea on aggregate, a lovely goal. Check, as I said, should have got there, but unfortunately not. Brief shot at the start of the second half. From Rondon, I think it was Czech making a simple save to parry, and uh, not bad. A little 50th minute chip chow. He gets fouled on the edge of the box, an area where I'm very good at scoring free kicks this year. Um, in previous leafers, I've not been particularly good at free kicks, but this year I've been scoring them for fun in some, in some matches. And uh, there, there was that, there, the guy that committed that foul got himself But for Hazard. There was enough power on that, but the angle wasn't quite right, and I and I just shot the ball straight into the side netting. Uh, in terms of substitutions, Lucas Piazon and Fabregas are coming on for uh, Hazard and Matic, Hazard and Fab and Matic respectively. But Chikchawi, you'd expect him to score, but no. 80th minute, he fires his first shot wide. He's been very clinical since he joined us, but he has been a phenomenal signing. But 85th minute, Remy goes flying through. Keeper, very unlucky indeed. But Chelsea, we uh, managed to just be very, very lucky in getting the ball down the back of the net then. And uh, it was 3 1 to Chelsea. Now we've got 4 1 overall. We are going into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And uh, a well deserved victory overall. We were the better team all round and uh, got the goals that we needed to go into the next leg. And that is basically how the match ended. We win the game 4-1 overall and go into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Next up is West Ham in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We are away for this one. And uh, West Ham have Adrian in goal. Demel, Reed, Bertrand and Tompkins at the back. Um, got Noble, Kuate, Nolan and Morrison in the midfield. Andy Carroll and Zerati paired up front together in a 4-4-2 diamond formation. Uh, in terms of the Chelsea team... There weren't many changes from the 3-1 win at home to uh, Zenit in the Champions League. Um, apart from Ivanovic coming in at right back and um, Douglas Costa coming in for Andre Scherler in the count position. Diego Costa 
paired up front uh, is on, on his own in this one. William playing out on the right. Um, first few minutes, West Ham had a really good chance to take the lead, but Axe just decided to blaze it over. Hazard turns the defender on a lovely looking attack, but uh, gets his shot away and the ball deflected behind for a corner. And uh, Fabregas taking it as always, whips it in. And, eventually, and uh, West Ham managed to clear it away. 32 minutes gone. It's still nil-nil. They have a free kick. Uh, it's a ratty taking it. Whips it over. Ramirez picks it up. Uh, takes very a long period of time to clear her. It doesn't do particularly well. West Ham get a chance. And uh, that's basically went blazing over. The next match is supposed to be Hull City away in the Premier League. But that, uh, that game got rescheduled. So we now have Cardiff City. And uh, you'd expect West Ham to score that shot, wouldn't you? But Andy Carroll blazing wide. That should have been 1-0 to West Ham, in my opinion. But Hazard, right, left-hand side, gets tackled. But manages to do determined to get that ball back. Blazing shot over the bar. I think it took a little bit of a deflection. Um, and I think it did. And uh, we have a corner. Fabregas taking it, as always. Plays it into Diego Costa. Whips. Or plays it back to Fabregas, rather. Gets the ball over the top. Remy's in there. I think, no, it's Ramirez rather, not Remy. And uh, couldn't get enough behind it. But Hazard has a lovely ball over the top to William. Finds the space, sprints into it. Lovely shot onto the inside of the post and fires it down the back of the net for a well-taken goal on the 52nd minute. 1-0 to Chelsea now. That ball over the top from Hazard, just switching the play, was absolutely brilliant. And then William just finding the space equally as good. And the goal was just as good too. So 1-0, a good chance. West Ham, another key chance for them. And uh, Czech manages to match it with a very good save. A very good shot from West Ham. Really should have done better. Should have scored it. 63 minutes gone. West Ham desperate to try and get themselves right back into the game. But they get a corner as a result of that. And uh, they whip it in. And uh, very close. But it is another corner. A good sequence of corners for West Ham to uh, try and equalise and bring themselves right back into this match. Another corner, uh, but the substitution takes place. They've got Joe Olsen coming on for, can't even read it on my screen, but the corner results straight into checked hands. Uh, Hazard gets the first time shot away, and uh, Diego Costa tries to get to the ball, but gets clattered out of the way by Adrian, the West Ham goalkeeper, and for me, it's a clear Penalty, no doubt about it. Chelsea, after 74 minutes, now have a chance to strengthen their lead in the Capital One in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, rather. And uh, Hazard stepping up to take it. Adrian goes the right way, but the, the shot was too high for him, and it ends up in the top corner from Hazard. And uh, it's now 2 0 uh, with 15 minutes left on the clock. For me, there is absolutely no way back into this game for West Ham. And. Uh, Hazard did get substituted at one point, I think, but I'm not even entirely sure. But Diego Costa on the 80th minute just strokes the ball home, leaving Adrian standing. And that uh, most certainly confirms the win for Chelsea as we now cruise into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Good place and power from Diego Costa to get past his defender and then just tricks the defender just by sl slotting it home. A lovely ball over the top to Coate. First time shot off the ball. Really, really unlucky West Ham. I've been in this game really unlucky at times. But that is basically the game, how the game pretty much ended. Cardiff City at home are next. And uh, it's seven, it, we're top of the league, 15 points clear. Um, Cardiff City, 29 points from their first 29 matches. They've averaged a point a game. They've been doing okay, but obviously they're above the relegation zone. But we... we uh, kept the team, we pretty much kept the team that we had uh, from the game against West Ham, but Yassine Shitchawi coming in for Douglas Costa in the camp position, I wanted to see how he played, um, so I've never pl played him in the camp position as yet since he joined Cardiff City on the other hand have David Marshall in goal, Catherine Kala, Manga and Fabio at the back noon, Ekrim, uh, Berger and Bergstaller in midfield, Eder and Yilmaz up front in, in, a, in, a, in a normal 4-4-2 uh, formation. And straight from kickoff, Cardiff City come on the attack um, to make a really good impact on the league leaders. And they do so very well with a goal. Poor defending. Czech didn't even make an attempt to that from me. If he dived, he probably would have got to that. But it is Cardiff City who take the lead with three and a half minutes played. 
and uh, they thoroughly deserved it. This game, of all of the games in this episode, was the one where raging consist was the most frequent thing that occurred. And uh, you know, Cardiff came out came to the, came into this game with a game plan, and it pretty much worked. For them. Diego Costa there with a brilliant, lovely work shot, but uh, Marshall matched it with a very, very good save indeed. Cardiff coming forward once again. They get another shot away, and this time they're even, they're very unlucky in hitting the post. Yasin Shikawi using the power really he has to get forward, whips the ball over the top to the head of Diego Costa, who has the simple task of heading home. Score the all-important equaliser after 37 and a half minutes in the match, and uh, that goal was the goal that we really needed. You know, it was beginning to look more unlikely that we were going to score. Uh, but Cardiff make a substitution. So do we. It's the start of the second half. Gary Cahill coming up for uh, uh, Fabian Shaw. Thought we were a little bit weak at the back. But maybe, looking back on it now, maybe it was Yassin Shikshawi playing in the cam position. But um, Cardiff had another chance to, to get back in front. And they didn't quite do it as well. Diego Costa gets played in from head in. Hazard really should have scored that and fires the ball straight at the keeper. And uh, William now on the 70th minute tries to make an impact, but the ball gets deflected away for a corner, um, which eventually ended up in nothing into nothing, as you will see. And that is basically how the match ended. Really, we picked up a point, very disappointing indeed, especially for it being at home. And um, you know that chance from Diego Costa should have been the winning goal for me. One all. The final score. Well, guys, a disappointing match overall. The performance was absolute, wasn't particularly as good, and uh, we still, but we still managed to pick up a point, and we're still top of the Premier League. But that is the it for the uh, episode. And if you saw the most recent video on the channel, uh, the the road to the finals, you would have seen a little bit of a spoiler from me with regards to the Champions League, and you can see it right there. We've got Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. And um, that's one that that's like, we we we've got Real Madrid over the two legs next episode along with Norwich and the Premier League. Um, in terms of matches that have already been played in the Champions League, um, we've got we've had PSG beating Barcelona two 0 at home and Atletico Madrid beating Manchester United one 0 Um, in terms of the other quarterfinals in the other eight in the other two matches, we've got um, Bayern versus Spurs. So. It'll be an interesting semi-final if we can get there. So, thank you very much for watching this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode for the quarterfinals against Real Madrid.